Hi, Facebook friends and family. This is Dr. Sandra. I hope everybody is having a great Sunday and you are ready to go and go to your favorite place of worship and you're ready to worship and praise the Lord this morning. I know I am. So I'm excited because I woke up this morning and God had a word on my heart. Now, I have no idea why God put this word on my heart until I started listening to something while I was getting dressed. And I'm only going to be on here for a quick second. So I want y'all to get this, get this and get this quick. Hi, everybody who's joining in. Hope y'all having a fabulous Sunday. Hope to see you tonight on Impact Training. For those of you that are in the Vision Building Women Facebook group, if you're not, make sure that you get in that group so you can be a part of the Impact Training. Now, back to the word the Lord gave me this morning. And that is to make sure that you're fighting in the right direction. Oh, this was powerful this morning. And so normally I don't get up and share on a Sunday morning. I go ahead and go to church and come home and get ready for impact training. But this morning, the Lord just impressed upon me to make sure that you are fighting in the right direction. And so as I begin to think about that some more, I begin to think about, you know, victory, that if we're fighting a battle, if there's something going on in your life, then you're fighting some sort of battle, whether it be a spiritual battle or whether it be an emotional battle or whether it be a financial battle. But regardless of what it is, you are fighting some sort of battle. And I have to stop right here just a second to say hello, Elder Gurley, my fam, my cousin's husband. What's up? How you doing, cuz? So now let me go back. So if you are fighting some sort of battle this morning, this is what I want to give to you in the, in the one minute that I'm going to stay on here. Uh, one more minute that I'm going to stay on here, okay? And that is, fight from the right direction. Let me say that one more time. Fight from the right direction. So many times, you know, we, we say, as Christians, when we say it, that we are fighting for victory, that we're fighting for victory in our finances, or we're fighting for victory in our marriage, or victory in our homes, or victory with our children. But here's what I want you to know today, that when you are a child of God, when you are a saint of the Most High God, when, and I apologize, y'all, because I'm at a gas station, I had to stop and get some mints this morning. So you may hear some stuff behind me. But when you are all of those things, when you know that you love the Lord, you don't have to fight for victory anymore. Fight in the right direction. And what's the right direction? Well, I'm glad you asked. The right direction is fighting from a place of victory. Not fighting for victory. Because you see, when Jesus went to the cross, he gave you victory in every single area of your life. See, when I learned what truly happened and what, what it really means to understand the power of the cross, that he had to go to the cross so that everything in my life, everything in your life, you would be fighting from the right direction. So I don't fight anymore from a place of I'm looking for victory or I'm fighting for victory. No, mm -mm. what you do is you fight from victory. What does that mean? You fight like you've already won. Why? Because you have won already. So you need to understand and get this, get this, get this. And that is that the devil cannot defeat you. Why? Because he's already defeated. He was defeated at the cross. That's why the cross, there's, there was power in the cross because that is where he was defeated. So that when you have to deal with a spiritual battle or an emotional battle or a financial battle or a marriage battle or a child battle or even a vision battle, whatever it is that you're having to deal with, whatever it is that is coming across your way, what I want you to understand this morning, even before some of you go to church, some of you may uh, be on your way to church or some of you may be going to a later service, but even before you go, what I want you to know that when you get to church today, I want you to give God praise because the victory is already there. And you may say, Dr. Sandra, people always say that. And yes, I know I've been on here longer than a minute. <laughs> Y'all know I can get long winded. All right. So you may say, Dr. Sandra, people always say that. But you know what? You have to say it. 
You have to believe it and then you have to walk in it. You see, I've come to understand that when I know who I am, when I know what direction that I'm supposed to fight in, when I know that I'm fighting from a place of victory, when I know that I'm fighting from a point that I already am, then you know what? Then I go in to the fight. When I go into the fight, knowing that I've already won. You see, when you go into a place, and let me give you this example right here. You see, um, my son plays basketball. And when they beat a team, and they beat a team by 20 or 30 points, all right? When they beat a team by 20 or 30 points, they end that game. And then when they start the next game, they have a little bit of attitude with them. They have a little bit of a winning attitude. Why? Because they've already won one game. All right, and they won that game by a large margin. So when they go into the next game, they have a different attitude because they're stepping into that game knowing the capabilities and the power that they have. So what am I telling you? I'm telling you that when you step into the next battle, when you step into the next fight, whenever the enemy tries to come upon you and tries to take you down, don't you step into that battle like you don't know who you are because you know who you are because he went to the cross so long ago so that you can be who you are, so that you can fight in the right direction. So when you go to church today, I want you to give God some glory and give God some praise because you know the direction direction that you are fighting in. So if the enemy tries to come upon you, you make sure that you let the enemy know that yes, I am victory. I like that, Vanessa. I like that. Yes, I am victory. I have the victory. He's already given it to me. So devil, if you want to step into a fight with somebody who is already victorious, then you go ahead. You go ahead. But what you have to understand, devil, is that I am already victorious. Before I ever stepped into the fight, I had already won it. You know, there's a scripture that a friend of mine, Mary Mangum, it's her favorite scripture. And it says that God will perfect those things that concern you. And what God showed me a long time ago about that scripture is that before it ever concerned me, he had already perfected it. So whatever battle that is concerning you right now, whatever thing that may be trying to come against you, whatever thing that may be trying to pull you down, whatever it is, I want you to know today that when you get to church or you get to wherever you're going this morning, then you make sure that you give God glory and you give God praise. Why? Because he's already perfected it. Because he's already made you victorious. That when you went into it, you're victorious. When you go through it, you're victorious. When you come out on the other side, you are victorious. And you know what? I didn't mean to preach on here this morning, but something this morning just got inside of me. And I told the Lord, I said, Lord, this whole thing about victorious, this whole thing about that I am victorious, not this, just that I know how to fight. Yeah, now you put me in a spiritual battle. I know how to to fight. I know how to call some backup. You know what? But I have learned, I have learned, I have learned that I'm not going to fight for victory anymore. Why should I fight for something that I already have? You know what? It's like my mama told me one time that when your man loves you, you don't have to fight for him anymore because you've already got him. So why in the world should I fight for victory when I can off, I can fight from victory because I already have it. Yeah, I'm excited this morning. I am so excited this morning. I don't even know why I'm so excited this morning. Other than the fact that the Lord woke me up. He started me on my way. And I'm just excited to be able to go and run run, run for the Lord. Y'all know what? Y'all have a fabulous day. Thank you for getting on here with me this morning. I just wanted to make sure. Woo! I just wanted to make sure that this morning you knew. That whatever your struggle is, whatever you're going through, that you fight in the right direction. And that direction is a direction from victory because you already have the victory. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Y'all have an awesome day and be blessed of the Lord. Bye-bye.